The design of the virtual set is extremely important. Sets can be abstract to tell a specific story, place a presenter in a model of a real-world location, or hyper-realistic. The presenter is moving within a physical limited space, while the virtual set can be much larger. So the presenter has to kind of imagine not be restricted by the physical limitations of the walls, but be able to react and, and describe things that are much further away than the physical walls. A virtual set really gives the broadcaster the ability not to only change uh, the set decoration when he goes from one show to the other, but he can do this on the fly while being on air and uh, bring in more content that is relevant to the story that is being told right there and on air. When you have the first ideas of your concept, you use the uh, 3D application of your choice and start modeling the basics. And uh, before you finalize your virtual studio, you usually do the uh, camera framing. And uh, we have some really nice technologies implemented, which makes the workflow much uh, faster and easier for the designers. Okay, the scene that I'm uh, showing you now uh, combines various uh, features uh, together inside this artist and is utilizing uh, the uh, latest graphics card from NVIDIA. So we see a huge uh, amount of performance on a scene like this one. Render performance inside this engine has improved so significantly that photorealism can be achieved to a point where it is hard to distinguish between a real set and a virtual set. Our customers have been asking for this uh, capability for a long time and now we're at the point where we really can provide it. And I think we will make a lot of people happy that they don't have to build real sets again but really can create everything inside the computer with less time, with more flexibility. Specifically, when you look at the current um, uh, state of the broadcasters, like almost everybody these days is uh, broadcasting in HD. Now, if you look at the quality that SD studios were built, you would see that there were lots of marks on the tables and the decoration, which didn't matter too much. If you want to broadcast uh, in HD, you have to pay close attention to what kind of material you're using. Like a brushed metal needs to be a very good looking brushed metal. Wood cannot just be a wood substitute, it really needs to be real wood to look uh, convincing. So if I uh, throw the material painted fence in here, I get these uh, planks with a little bit of old uh, paint on it. But I want to adjust the properties, so first of all I want to have a higher resolution. Now I want to go and uh, change the amount of planks, for, an, for example. I want to remove the paint age completely, so I want to have this white floor, or uh, perhaps increase the paint age, so it looks uh, like a much older floor. With a Virtual Studio technology from VSRT, you can gain photorealism and the materials uh, that uh, are presented by partners like uh, uh, Algorithmic uh, with the Substance plugin in Viz, uh, or RTT create a photorealistic environment that is uh, sometimes even better than uh, the studio decoration you get from a, a set builder. While in the virtual set, the presenter only sees the chroma key studio. It is necessary to set up a return monitor so the presenter can orient themselves with the virtual environment. The best location for this monitor is mounted on the camera. The return video feed should also be inverted so the presenter can easily see left and right. Other techniques, such as projecting images on the studio floor or providing a green tinted monitor mounted into the green screen wall, also provide the presenter tools to help reference objects in the virtual set. One of the most important things for the presenter is to have the story 100% straight. You have to know what you're going to say, how you're going to say it, and what kind of numbers and digits or what are you going to present in the story. Second thing, uh, you need to be able to visualize this, the environment that you are in. Virtual sets can take on any shape, leaving the presentation up to the broadcaster's imagination. They give the broadcasters a great deal of flexibility within the studio. Virtual sets and augmented reality graphics help broadcasters differentiate themselves from their competitors, engaging their audience and saving money in the process. The long-term return is obviously the ability to change the sets virtually by a click. You can have uh, news, sports, you can have your children's show in the same location just by uh, using a different virtual set. 
A virtual set really gives the broadcaster the ability not to only change uh, the set decoration when he goes from one show to the other, but he can do this on the fly while being on air and uh, bring in more content that is relevant to the story that is being told right there and on air.